evening. The next item is the mayor's report, and I'm pleased to provide the mayor's report for the period of October 18th through the 31st. I'll note that there were a number of meetings that took place over the last uh, two-week period. On October 18th, I had the opportunity, along with uh, Councillor uh, Fenske, Deputy Mayor Lafrenier, and Mr. Sepatelli, to meet with representatives from the uh, Manitoba Liquor Control Commission who were uh, traveling through Thompson onto other meetings in northern Manitoba, specifically Roman Zubak, who is the uh, um, uh, uh, President, I believe, and Al Roney, and uh, had a good opportunity to have a uh, discussion regarding a number of issues as part of our ongoing communication strategy with the MLCC, and uh, very pleased uh, that they are uh, uh, continue to be open to uh, work with the City of Thompson to address some of the issues and challenges we face in the downtown. And uh, I believe this was the result of, again, the meeting with Minister Swan, uh, from late August where the message was sent clearly to the other ministers that there is a problem in Thompson, Manitoba and all the departments have to get involved. So I'm pleased and I think Mr. or Councillor Fenske you're going to be following up with the MLCC and I look forward to that. On October 19th, uh, uh, along with Mr. Sepatelli, I had the opportunity to meet with uh, Cam Olma, who is one of the uh, uh, management ownership group of the Thompson Plaza, and I know that uh, Councillor Locker also had the opportunity to meet with Cam when he was in town. Uh, discussed a number of issues, one being the uh, some of the downtown concerns in and around uh, the property, and we also had the opportunity to discuss Nickel Days, both in terms of our appreciation for the uh, role the plaza played in 2011 and the potential for 2012. Um, I always appreciate when Mr. Olm is in town, I can tell you this, he is absolutely committed and has worked uh, very well with the City of Thompson in terms of addressing uh, some of those uh, issues in and around the plaza and I look forward to continuing to work with him. On the uh, October 21st, I had the opportunity to attend the Communities in Bloom wrap-up along with uh, Councillor Hogan who uh, uh, also attended the meeting. I want to uh, congratulate the uh, Thompson group. I know there's been lots of discussion and, and some uh, uh, comments about the fact that uh, three blooms wasn't necessarily what we expected. I very quickly reminded that committee that five years ago we wouldn't have gotten one bloom. The work that they have done has been tremendous and I thank them for that effort and we're going to continue on that path and we'll continue to improve and that's the only way you can do it. So I look forward, they're going to be bringing a full report I believe Councillor Hogan in an upcoming meeting and again uh, I can't tell you the number of comments, positive comments I received from former Thompsonites who visited this community over the last summer and said that they had seen a marked change in terms of the cleanliness and I think that that's uh, that's a result of the efforts of the volunteers and those people that participated in those types of programs, so I thank them. Uh, on October 26th, uh, again, uh, had the opportunity uh, to meet with um, uh, Wendell Fitzpatrick from uh, uh, Nickel Days as well as uh, representatives from, uh, from the plaza to talk about uh, what took place last year and the potential uh, for the future. I look forward to uh, further discussions. Uh, also on October 26th, the City of Thompson hosted our uh, final Speak Up Thompson uh, uh, evening for 2011. And I want to thank all those people that came out. It was an excellent turnout and uh, again, very good discussion. And I always appreciate uh, that people come to the table, not just necessarily with concerns, but with comments about how we can improve. And I think that that's the intent of the evening. And I appreciate uh, that positive approach to uh, to absolutely addressing some of the challenges that we have. I know that we'll continue with the Speak Up program, but I know it's been raised that uh, when other opportunities arise, it's always to the benefit of the City of Thompson to meet with the public, and I think that throughout the year, it's not just gonna speak, speak Up Thompson, we will take the opportunity to ensure we engage the public. I uh, want to note that uh, um, this evening is Halloween and it's probably a little after most are out, but I do want to thank uh, probably the weatherman for the weather because I tell you, I've been in Thompson an awful lot of years and there's not many I can remember that were quite like this. But I hope that people have uh, practiced uh, safe operations and I'm sure they have. I do want to acknowledge and thank Manitoba Hydro. They were challenged over the last week and a half to get out and address some of the the dark areas in this community. I know they worked over the last number of days, including working over the weekend, to address those blackouts, and I want to acknowledge that. 
that uh, we appreciate that. I remind residents, don't just count the number of lights that are out. Pick up the phone. The number's on our website. Either phone Manitoba Hydro directly or give the City of Thompson a call and we will phone. We need to engage the community. If we don't know they're out, how do we fix them? And I think the same goes for Manitoba Hydro. So I do appreciate the work that they've done. In terms of some of the upcoming events, I want to remind uh, the community that on November the 11th, the Remembrance State Service will be held at the Thompson Regional Community Centre in the C.A. Nesbitt Arena. And I encourage the community to get out and, uh, and uh, show their support. In terms of some long-term planning, I can advise that, uh, believe it or not, uh, despite the tremendous weather, November 26th is going to be the National Child Day celebration and the festive kickoff to uh, uh, the festive season with the lighting of the Christmas tree here at City Hall and this year a special event the uh, the parade so uh, look forward to that encourage people to get involved and uh, and it's uh, coming very quickly on that same note you're gonna see the city of Thompson Cruz getting out and uh, uh, putting up our festive decorations in the next uh, week or ten days I believe uh, and uh, it's coming faster than I think we all uh, anticipated in terms of uh, one other comment, I do have, uh, by the virtue of the authority vested in me as Mayor Thompson, I hereby proclaim the month of November 2011 as Diabetes Month in the city of Thompson. I know I wasn't able to attend a number of events, including one of the ones that I truly like to enjoy, and uh, uh, Councillor Collada attended that event on my behalf, so I'm going to ask her perhaps to share that and any other council members to share events that they participated. Councillor Collada. <coughs> Excuse me. Citizenship court was held at Westwood School. Um, the uh, principal, um, um, I always want to call her by her maiden name, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Elaine Thompson did an excellent job of involving the children and, and school participation. Um, it was a, there were 42 people who became citizens. Uh, there was good participation. It was just a very nice event, and uh, thank you for uh, asking me to attend that. Thank you. Any other? Councillor Hogan. October 26th, or 25th, I attended the Boys and Girls Club annual general meeting, um, and I just wanted to report back to council and to the public that this is a fantastic organization in our community. Um, the growth that they've experienced in a short number of years is to be commended. Um, currently, they are operating with about a million dollar operating budget that's um, going back into our local economy, um, and the ability of um, of the executive um, executive director to pull in funders for this organization has been amazing, and I would really like to give out um, j just give a, a shout to um, the executive director Kim Hicks for the work that she's done and the commitment that she's had to um, the organization. It really stands by its um, its its slogan, "A good place to be," and um, it employs about 18 staff, um, which again is just benefiting our community um, with uh, a a range of, of children attending and um, volunteer opportunities and I just wanted to highlight this as a success story in our community and note to the public that if you are looking for volunteer opportunities um, maybe it's one that you haven't considered and you could um, on your way home from work stop in for about half an hour and help with the homework club and help students um, with math or spelling or English um, it's just it's a fantastic community asset and I really think that we need to just acknowledge it more thank you any further comments? Seeing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. 